Peggy 16. Hi, I'm Tommy Jacob. I'm the creative director on Ghost Recon Future Soldiers Multiplayer. We're back here at the shop after E3, and we're excited to show you the version of the game that we demoed at the show. When we first started Ghost Recon Future Soldier, we recognized three key ingredients we wanted to focus on. It's a Ghost Recon game. Combat had to come first. Shooting had to kick ass. Next, we focused on intel. Our intel loop is a unique aspect of gameplay that gives players a new and visceral way to play a support role. Third is teamwork. Rewarding the player and creating advantages for playing as a team is a key ingredient to making it feel like a traditional Ghost Recon experience. In Future Soldier, we have two separate, equally equipped factions, the Ghosts and the Bodark. Within each faction, you have access to three roles. The Rifleman uses assault rifles and light machine guns and is designed to be on the front line delivering a wall of bullets and explosions to the enemy. The Scout has a more subtle approach, using sniper rifles and submachine guns to stealthily take down enemies. The Engineer uses shotguns, personal defense rifles, and some of the coolest equipment like the drone to collect intel to share with his team. The mode we're showing today is Conflict, which is our objective-based team deathmatch. Ghost Recon Future Soldier will feature four multiplayer modes, which are all objective-based to encourage teamwork. We're bringing the most refined cover system available to the Ghost Recon franchise. Cover swapping is the fastest movement in the game, and believe me, when the bullets are flying, cover is your friend. Firing the light machine gun in the direction of your enemy causes complete chaos. When suppressed, the camera shakes and pushes into your character, affecting your field of view, focus, and aim, limiting your ability to effectively return fire. There's equipment available like smoke grenades to help you get out of these situations, but the best tool is having a teammate take out the enemy suppressing you. The drone is one of over 13 pieces of equipment providing access to our intel loop. Having intel allows you to know your enemy's position. In our playtests, we've seen a single player with intel take out entire squads. Each role provides unique equipment to access intel. In addition, there's also equipment available to allow players to counter the intel loop and outsmart their enemy. In Ghost Recon Future Soldier, we have several pieces of equipment that allow you to stun your enemies. While an enemy is stunned, you can hack into their system and download their intel, sharing it with your team. This allows your team to know the position of your enemies for a limited amount of time. Intel is extremely valuable. You don't want to get hacked. Once you're down, a teammate is your best hope of getting back in the game with your intel intact. Using augmented reality, the coordination system displays a virtual path to objectives and teammates. For the first time, new players no longer have to worry about learning a map in order to be able to navigate quickly to their objectives. Our confidence system encourages players to play together. A lone wolf can take up to 20 seconds to interact with an objective. With teammates in proximity, you not only have someone watching your back, but your interaction time can be cut in half. All these features combined contribute to the Future Soldier multiplayer experience. We're hard at work to bring you this exciting and innovative game in March of 2012 on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Thanks for checking it out. <laughs>